this is a really difficult one to do the driver's side upper control arm is pretty easy this is a 1990 extra cab DLX uh, Toyota pickup two wheel drive but the upper control arm is so difficult to get out because there's the uh, steering column and the steering column hits this guy now, I don't know how to take out the steering column through the steering wheel which would have been way easier so what I ended up doing is removing this uh, tie rod from the power steering pump and I had to remove the giant bolts on both sides of the power steering pump and there's a nut on the other side of, it, of the frame so you'll have to put a 17 millimeter open end wrench on the other side and then remove these two giant bolts obviously remove the control arm bolts that are behind this the shock uh, and then I'll show you how to get it out. obviously you remove the the um, this guy right here I had to remove the air box in order to loosen that nut right here this bolt right here actually from the power steering pump do not completely remove it remove it 70 or unscrew it 75 percent of the way and the reason is here's the steering column and that's our control arm once you remove the other bolts down there that i showed you remove this sucker and this one also has a nut underneath it's 17 millimeter just barely leave it on the reason is because you'll grab these lines. I actually had to loosen this line and some other little components here. Grab it and you can actually see the steering shaft or steering column move out of the way. So you can remove the upper control arm. Otherwise, I have no idea how else I would remove it. I had to, I needed new bushings, that's the reason I did it. And it wiggles out of here and there's not much room because of this guy, like I said, the control arm hits this. There's no way to get it out. Even if you remove this shock, you don't need to remove it because it wiggles out through here. So for you to wiggle the control arm out of there, one hand should go on this part of the steering pump and you just press up, right? And that column moves enough so you can wiggle the steering column away from this guy. And the tools I used to help me out a lot was uh, big breaker bars, especially for this nut right here. For that nut, for the power steering pump, it looks like a two-footer extension, half-inch extension with my 17-inch socket, and it goes like that. This is an enormous extension, and at the same time. I have a 17 millimeter wrench down there to prevent from the bolt of, to keep spinning. Other than that, it's pretty easy, but it's a pain to loosen these bolts. I hope it helps. Let's see what else I can tell you guys. That's about it, really. Uh, I could, you can't really record. But this comes off pretty, wiggle it out once you loosen that power steering pump. All right, later.